Hey guys, it's me, 501st Pingu, back with another Lego haul video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you my haul that I got from Reading Brick Show that I went to today. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I got, uh, all the figures I got, and then the set that I got as well. Um, so first up, uh, I bought three Star Wars minifigures. Um, first up is this Bomb Squad Clone Trooper, um, which I'm really happy about because I needed another. I wanted to get this Clone Trooper variant. And he was only about seven pounds, um, but they, I think they look pretty cool. And they're one of the cheaper clone troopers. And then next up, I also got this G Nation minifigure, which is the one with wings, and I think this looks really good, very cool. The wings a bit bent uh, downwards, but I still think it's a lovely minifigure, and it'll be great for. Clone Wars mocks and that fighting on Genation, Genesis, uh, and then that was about seven pounds as well, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And then uh, this is another one, which is a security battle droid. Uh, I just got this as I wanted another sort of battle droid variants and that, and I thought this looked pretty cool. And it was only four quid, um, so happy with that. I just put these. And over here, um, so I just mainly got minifigures for with this, but then I also got did, did get one set and a bit, a bit of bricks. Uh, next up, I got another bomb squad clone trooper, got a second one, so I got two of these now. Uh, this one I got for nine pounds, which is a bit more expensive, but um, still uh, worth it, I think. Um, so they look pretty good together um, now I've grown my collection of bomb squad clone troopers um, yeah there's just another clone trooper to add to the army uh, very happy about that um, and that was pretty much and then got a few more Star Wars figures because obviously Star Wars is one of the main things that I do on this channel and one of my, my favourite theme which is the one that I mainly collect I got this Imperial Officer, which is a tan version. Um, I think he's a captain, um, but he was only four pound fifty because he was used. Uh, but he's in great condition actually, um, and he looks really cool. And I really love the sort of white gloves that he's wearing, and I think he's an amazing figure. Um, and next up is another. Star Wars figure. Now this is a Clone Wars Count Dooku. This is a very cool minifigure. It doesn't he doesn't come with his cape, but he looks really cool and he's got that chrome curved lightsaber which looks amazing. It's got a very stern expression. Um, and because he's a Clone Wars one, it's got that Clone Wars sort of style and I think he looks really cool and menacing. He's actually a pretty simple minifigure. I think definitely worth it because um, he's very cool and I haven't got a Count Dooku minifigure before um, and then last up for the Star Wars minifigures I got this combat speeder pilot from Rebels uh, this was £4.50 I forgot to mention the Count Dooku was £10 this was £4.50 and well worth it Looks really good. And another Imperial Trooper variant for my army. And for future mocks, as he'll look good in sort of more urban landscapes. Um, next up, I've got a Marvel CMF figure. Now, this is the Moon Knight figure. I bought him for £7. And this is just because it's one of the figures I wanted. That I didn't end up getting. It comes with this little stand and other bits and pieces. But I think this is the best CMF, Marvel CMF figure that they had in Series 2. I'm glad I actually finally got him. I already had Mr. Knight, so he'll go well with that. 
he looks really really good and then last but not least is a sesame street character from the muppets it's oscar the grout was only five quid and i think it's a really cool minifigure um yeah i love the um way that they made this minifigure and i think it looks really cool and it will be good for my muppets display that i have got um yeah these are all the minifigures but then i also did get this big bag of gray books for eight pounds um, it's just got lots of different grey bricks and I think this will be very useful for detailing my mocks and just to add to my collection um, to make more mocks and make them more detailed and better oh went flying out of his hand oh that's quite hard to put on I'll just leave it there um, but yeah I think that was worth £8 I think yeah, and that will just be useful for in the future. Hello. Um, but last, but definitely not least, is the Lego set that I bought, which is the set 40563, which is the Lego House Tribute set. Now, this has basically got loads of mini builds of the Lego House exclusive builds. Um, which I think is very cool and this was only £25 so I'm very happy with that um, and as I've been to the Lego house this is very cool I've got the big version of this set of that the Lego house set and I think this is very cool to have all these sort of bits and bobs and 25 quid this is brilliant this was a gift with purchase so uh, that's why it, it wasn't a proper produced set, um, but I really, I really like this set, and I think it'll be very cool. And because I've gone to Lego House, it'll be good for like a nice display. Um, anyway, I did get loads of minifigures. Very happy with what I got, um, and I hope you enjoyed watching me get um, this. Um, I think it was a very good event red and brick show lots of cool models um, I saw not that Sam Smith who's a relatively big youtuber um, and yeah it was very good and I got all these cool minifigures that I wanted and I I wouldn't say that I spent like too much um, I got the minifigures that I really wanted um, and I'm really happy with it um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye